Okay, basically you're just going to show you step by step what to do when it comes to try it on the wig. But first of all, always put the wig cap on because what this does is gives, gives the customer a really good idea if she is going to be losing her hair or if it's just for fashion reasons. We don't want any of the stray hair coming out. We want to get a natural look as possible. So this is the wig cap. It's just like a stocking cap. You hold the front for me there, Christina. Get the client to hold the front so you can pull down and just put all this hair into the cap. Like this. Because basically you're giving the client the perfect idea of what she's going to look like, say if she is going to be losing her hair. Or if, if the lady's going to keep her hair, we don't want any stray ends coming up. The fabulous thing about the wig cap is as well, by putting the wig cap on, this stops the grease from your own hair going onto the wig, which means the client doesn't have to wash her wig as much, because the least you wash these wigs, the better. It makes the wig last longer. Okay, the wig we're going to be showing today is called Spotlight. It's one of our best-selling wigs. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a lace front wig with a monofilament top. And inside the wig, there's one size fits all. This is called touch fastening. So you can make the wig as big or as small as possible. Tag at the back. These are your side tabs. Now this is great. This will give you a proper idea if this wig is on straight, okay? So I'm just gonna open this a little bit. Like this. So always hold the wig like this. So that's exactly your guidelines to know if the hair piece is on straight. Trina, can you just hold the front there for me, please? So get the client to hold the front of the wig, and which means that you can pull the wig down and tuck the hair underneath. Okay? Now, that means your hair is on. Always make sure that these side tabs are on straight. That means the hair piece is on straight. And that's all you have to do. And your hair piece is on. It looks really nice on it. So this is Spotlight. This is one of our best selling wigs. Now once you have the hair piece on, you can treat this hair. Can you pass your hair a clip please? Here, well, a bulldog clip. Take it off the back there. Yeah, thank you. Once this wig is on, you can treat this just like your own hair. So whichever way you wear your parting, you can change it. That's what the monofilament top is. Change the part in any way you want. Lace front means you can wear this away from your face we have a lace front and then general maintenance on that wig maintenance yeah. okay always use the product that's designed for fiber hair conditioning spray really make sure that you spray the back of this wig so it stops um, any friction going onto your clothes yeah and as you say you don't use any heat on this and just be very, very careful when it comes to long wigs with brushing them. Always brush the wigs from the bottom up. And like I say, once this wig is on, thank you, my darling, that's great. You can treat this just like real hair. So once it's on, style it any way you want to wear this wig up. It's easy. Just take it, twist it at the nape, bring this back up, like this. So just mixing the looks up. Yeah. Very nice. Hair up. Okay. We're going to see some different styles. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Spotlight, one of our best selling wigs. Take that over there. Thank you, my love. Let's put this one on my feet. Mm -hmm. So basically what you have to do when it comes to all these wigs, you just got to give these wigs life. You never take them out of the packet, put them straight on the head, take them out. This is one of our best selling bobs, it's called Bewitched. Give the wig a really good brush through. 
give the wig a shake, use a little bit of product on it. Just give these wigs as much life as possible. Once again, look at the front. Always make sure that your side tabs are lined up. Come down. How do you find uh, women's reaction when they never, never tried on a wig? Do you find, uh, when they come in for the first time and try the wig on? How did you normally their reaction? They're absolutely amazed. Like I said, people have got such a bad image when it comes to wigs. I think people are just thinking of what wigs were like back in the 60s where they were very heavy. They were probably human hair. The, or if they were fibre, they were always one tone. When it comes to all these wigs, there's 7 to 11 shades to every single one of these hair pieces. That's a nice shade. What is that? Absolutely. Now, this is called a shadow shade, which means it has a dark root. And this is a glazed hazelnut, but it's a shadow shade. So it has it, The wigs now are even coming with roots. So basically, people's reaction are really overwhelmed because the wigs look so realistic now. And like I always say, you only ever spot a bad wig. You probably sat next to somebody who was wearing one, you would never know. There you go, looks nice, good job. This is an asymmetrical cut, one of our best selling bobs. Beautiful. Okay, so the wig cap goes on, this holds all the hair back, stops all the grease from going on to the wig. The wig you see in here is one of our best selling bobs, it's the upstage. Like I said before, this has a monofilament top, a lace front, and I absolutely love this colour because it has roots. Okay. So you just give this wig a shake, flip this round, always give these wigs some life, like this. That's your side tabs, don't know if the hair is on straight. Okay, Linda, hold the front for me there. Pull this wig back. And there we have this beautiful natural bob. So once these wigs are on girls, just don't be scared. Just style them just as you would your own hair. I always say scruffier the better. If you notice I'm not really using the brush on this. You don't want to make these wigs look too set. The natural the better. Take it away from your face and this under. It's a fabulous natural bob. I'm take my brush. And then it's up to you how you want to style it. Remember, girls, once you're happy with your wig, I always advise you want you can customize it to suit you. You can take it to one of the girls here and they will chop into this. You want to take a little fringe into it, cut a little bit off the length. 